Okay, hello and welcome to Stamp with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I do Stamp with Shell video tutorials four times a week. Sundays at 10 a.m. Central Time, Tuesdays at noon, Wednesdays at 7, and Thursdays at noon. You can find these videos on my Stamp with Shell YouTube channel, my Stamp with Shell Facebook page, as well as on my blog. My blog can be found at shellscreativecorner.blogspot.com. My blog posts will have photos and links as well as full, full video tutorial with measurements and instructions. If you have any questions, you can contact me anytime at andersonshell at gmail.com. Okay, today's video hop is for the Night Angels Global Video Hop. And our theme this time is thank you. So I have chosen the Kindest Expression stamp set and I'm going to use this greeting here. I've also chosen a new bundle that I got in my pre-order called Fluffiest Friends. This is super cute and has the coordinating dies. It's a red rubber set. We're going to be using that as well as Memento Black and Real Red ink. And I have some Stampin' Blend markers here. Dark Real Red, Light Pebbled Path, Light Wild Wheat, and Light and Dark Copper Clay. All right, we are going to be doing a fun fold today, so let's get started. Bring in a bone folder, our card base. I'm not going to give you any of the measurements because um, I'm gonna. There's a lot of them. There's a lot of bits and pieces to this card. It's not difficult. Nothing I do is difficult. However, there's lots of pieces to this one, so you'll have to check the blog post or the YouTube video description for the measurements. So, there is our main card base. So we might as well start right away and decorate this one up. On, I have a bunch of pieces here. On the inside, we have a choice. I think I am going to use the stripes on the inside. This is the bold, bright, Mary Bold and Bright DSP. Yes, this is intended as a Christmas paper, but I'm almost out of glue. We are going to use it for a non Christmas card. This is the paper that goes with this bundle, the Merry and Bright bundle. All right, so that's the inside of our card. Now we have to decorate the outside. So I have this fabulous piece of striped paper. And that's going to go across here, just centering it up and matching our borders as best we can. And then down on this bottom flap, we are going to do some polka dots. All right. That is the first part of our card base all done. Easy, right? All right, now we're going to go on to the second piece of our card base. This is going to be a pop-up gift card holder. So we need to 
them. I have to think this through again. Yes, this is how I want it. No, it is not. That is wrong. Give me a second till I figure this out. Yes, this is the way I want it. If you stick around to the end of this video, I have another sample to show you that uses different paper as well as a different stamp set, or same stamp set, but different image than we're using today. So this is what you want your insert to look like. It's gonna go on the inside of your card. All right, now, this piece here is our gift card holder, but before we put this in here, we're gonna decorate it up. So I'm going to put some DSP on it. All right, I'm done fighting with that one. I'm going to bring in another one. All right. Sure, this one's going to work. Woo! Very well. So that's going to go on that little bottom flap, like so. We'll just center that up as best we can. I've got it crooked. There we go. Then on the inside, we are going to put this beautiful polka dot. This is going to be one happy card. Look at all those bright colors. All right. There's that. Now, we need to close up this little flap for the gift card holder. So, I'm just going to run a little line of Tombow down each side. And we're going to leave the top flap, the top of the pocket open. Okay. So that gift card will easily fit in there. And we're going to do the same with the bottom, but we're going to put this onto the top of the card first. I'm going to run Tombow across this little panel here. Like so. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring this up closer to the camera so you can see it. I'm going to take this up to the line and centered from side to side, but I don't want it to touch the line because I don't want it to, to, to bind. So once you have it centered and up to the line, simply close the top of your card. Give that a press. And you'll see that this moves when you open the card. There's your slide and pop mechanism. Okay, and that didn't quite seal there. Give that a, another press. I probably put that gift card in there too soon. All right, down here on the bottom, we're going to do the same thing. Now, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, we're going to work on our outside focal image. I'm just going to layer these pieces together. Oh, I need a little more adhesive down here. Just going to layer those together like so. Matching those borders. Then I have die cut this hide. This is one of the dies in this set. Um, I'm going to use it for like a cave opening is what I'm kind of thinking it's going to be. I just wanted something that's going to highlight my background. Like be a nice backdrop is what I'm trying to say. So how this is going to work, this pocket is going to be fixed on each side. And this is only going to be attached to the top flap. Okay, 
So that's going to give me room down here at the bottom where I can put some ribbon. Okay, you see this area down here? So I can choose any color of ribbon down here. And I thought I might mimic some of the polka dots by using this ribbon here. So I'm going to run this across the back side of this. But I am going to use some tear and tape to hold that in place so that it doesn't bind on the pop mechanism. Well, that is if I can find the end of my tape. There it is. So I'm just going to run this little piece of tear and tape across the inside of the pocket. And then we'll grab a pick tool and release that backing. And I want to make sure I have enough to make a knot. Once again, don't go on the seam. We don't want our seams to bind. And since I have the tear and tape out here, I'm going to use that for the sides of our pocket. We'll go right over that ribbon. like so, we'll burnish that on there, grab the pick tool again, and remove our paper backing. There we go. Now we're simply going to close our pocket. And you can see this mechanism it just pops up and down. So when you open it, there's surprise. Here's a Tim Hortons gift card. All right, so now I'm going to take this ribbon and tie it in a knot down here at the bottom. Now, because I don't have a million fingers. I'm going to use my pay, uh, yeah, I need to turn this open. Um, my tweezers, that's what I'm trying to say. Holy moly. To hold the knot while I tie my tails. And there we go. That helped me immensely. All right, now we're going to trim these off. That one's a little long. Get it in place. All right rid of that garbage. Now we're going to need some glue dots. We need to have these tails stay in place. So I'm just going to grab a glue dot and stick it underneath each side. there we go. All right, now we're down to attaching this panel. Now if you wanted you could attach it with dimensionals. I'm not going to. I'm going to glue it flat with Tombow. So I'm just eyeballing it and remember you can only put, oops, you can only put Tombow on about two-thirds of this. 
or you'll glue your card shut and you don't want to do that. Layer it or measure it up side to side and pop it in place and hold it. All right, we're going to set that aside for a minute. And I'm going to bring in two of the elements that I'm going to use on my card. I have chosen the little beaver image from the fluffiest friends. And he was colored with those um, stamp and blend colors that I told you about the pebble path, the copper clay, uh, real red and wild wheat. See how cute he is. I also stamped the thanks so much on basic white and then I fussy cut it, glued it onto a piece of Knight of Navy and fussy cut it again. Those are the two elements that I'm going to put on my card and I think I'm going to use dimensionals on those. All right, so let's turn these guys over and we will get some dimensionals on here. Now I'm going to use these bones up. All right, we've depleted that. Let's grab another. Maybe. There we go. We have some minis that'll work because I need some minis for his tail. I don't want his tail to get maybe one up here. There we go. We'll grab a pick tool, get those paper backings off. And this little guy is just going to sit inside the little cave that I've created for him here. There we go. And up here at the top, lift this up and have a look at it. I am going to center this up just like so. Thanks so much. And our little beaver with a heart. And then a little Tim Hortons gift card of appreciation on the inside. And as promised, I have another one to show you. This one is using the bear image from the same set. And he's got his little pot of honey there sitting in the forest. And this one I have thank you. And this one here also has the little gift card holder. So on the outside, I didn't have a greeting. I just put it on the inside. And then on this one, I just have the gift card on the inside and the greeting on the outside. Super easy. Um, just a few extra pieces than a typical card would have. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial. Like I said, the measurements will be on the YouTube description as well as on my blog post at shellscreativecorner.blogspot.com. Thanks so much for stopping by. Now hop along and see what the next person has to share with you. Um, and come, and get, come back again real soon. Bye-bye.